So okay, hi everyone. This is Anish here. Welcome to Drona HQ Partnercast 2020. Uh, I manage partnerships and community for Drona HQ, and on the call we also have Janine. Uh, hi Janine, how are you? Excited to be a part of the Partnercast? Absolutely, man. Okay, so this is uh, this is the first in the part of our series of Partnercast. And uh, the, these are basically unique sessions that we have identified uh, where the focus will be on showcasing the strength of our partner network, sharing unique stories, partner speaks and more. Uh, we want this to be your monthly dose of uh, partner use cases, leader conversations. You need not go anywhere else. This partner's cast is uh, special for many more reasons for me. Uh, this is the first one and will set the context for all our future episodes. Uh, why the partner cast? Uh, you know, as Drona HQ has been growing, we have we have a very special place for partners in the entire Drona HQ ecosystem, and uh, which is why this specific segment. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to create a more vibrant ecosystem. Uh, and for potential partners to also look at the power of this tool and jump on the bandwagon. We firmly believe at Drona that uh, the tool might be great, but we also need amazing people who can drive it, and that is our partners. So let's begin. Uh, this is what we are going to cover today. We just have a little piece of information about the whole no-code, low-code revolution out there. What Drona HQ is all about, what can we help our partners achieve, and who can be our partners? And uh, it's a free-flowing discussion. I'll be I'll be looping in Janine on some of the points as well. Uh, feel free to drop out, drop your questions in the chat window, and we might take them towards the end of the conversation. So, why is the whole world going gaga about no code, low code? Uh, you know, the big guns are betting on it. You see articles like uh, the Inc. article over here, Welcome to the No Code Software Revolution. Uh, about uh, a few weeks back, you had AWS launching Amazon Honeycode, a no code app builder. You had Google acquiring AppSheet. Uh, Microsoft expects around 500 million new apps to be created over the next 40 years, and half of them, uh, not half, in fact, 450 million of them will be on no code. Uh, so you can clearly see that no code is the next big thing that people are betting on. And uh, just over the last six months, the, the, the movement has grown at such a phenomenal pace. Uh, it, it's mind boggling. Uh, you have research coming out of Forrester, which is talking about it. You have Gartner speaking about it. Uh, let's bring Janine at this point to Hi. get his views of what he thinks about the whole no code piece. Oh, it's absolutely Anish. I think uh, what you're saying is is spot on, right? In fact, uh, today itself, I was on a call with a you know, um, I would say one of the large IT services firm. Uh, I mean, like you know, which probably let's call it as a global IT company, right? And um, it was it was very interesting because they they did speak about one of the things like you know they have a commitment to Microsoft to take uh, the no code practice or the Power App practice as they call it. 200 people sort of a practice now that's that's uh and i was like you know absolutely delighted to hear that right and uh, of course i mean it's not about like you know oh, they gonna make a practice for microsoft and but, but you know as an ecosystem as uh, low code no code as the technology will evolve i believe like you know it, it, it's excellent to see so much amount of traction going around it right and uh, as on date like you know they're already like you know uh, midway mark and that that was kind of like you know um uh, in my opinion, a great start. Right? And I'm sure, like you know, while this is like you know a relatively small size, right, global SI in a way, but you know, as we look at the landscape across various IT services companies, and I see it, it's something which is on um, you know one of the most promising uh, uh, one of the most promising thing, which is kind of right and uh, also you know anish uh, I, I don't know if you if you if you saw a recent uh, article again uh, like you know published by economic times and then like you know they expect uh, some of these it giants like tcs Infosys, and wipro that you know these guys 
percent plus of uh, digital growth right was accounted to only uh, you know low code no code kind of practices and i believe low code no code and then they at the big thing they also mentioned rpa right so that's massive in a way right i think it's it's a uh, it's a direction it's a in in that sense uh so yeah, anyway, in fact, i think uh, uh, like, you know yeah go ahead anish you know the whole piece around how uh, you know uh, the whole tech aspect right is no more the reserve only of the uh, only of people who know tech and which is also leading to this whole piece on citizen development coming to the fore where if you have an idea if you have the vision you can visualize uh, you need not be constrained by the technology uh, you can use the platform to leverage it and you know the cases that we personally have come across where organizations want to start this revolution within their company get people who have ideas to create apps and if something clicks take it to the it and take it to the next level so that's a complete change and uh, you know people have started fast tracking this process uh, maybe the pandemic has uh, added to the entire fire but uh, we see more and more organizations looking at it that way so arish i think i second you over there right yes. pandemic has accelerated the whole uh, you know the stuff around digital and there lies a great opportunity i mean if if you understand like you know one of the great things that uh, if it's called like there's a big learning right from a player like say a salesforce.com right it's uh it's not about like you know for i mean like you know again one of the uh, analysts said for every dollar salesforce makes right uh there's a four dollar on the table for the ecosystem to make okay yeah. so yeah. imagine like you know uh, if a salesforce.com is 75 billion dollar maybe like you know maybe 40 billion dollar year on year kind of a revenue there's a you know 4x the money like you know that i mean like you know that that's the amount of work what of work which is there and has to be fixed i mean of course so salesforce.com is at its peak or maybe i, I don't know where is it in in its overall like you know belt of but the idea being this is a huge opportunity for people who are entrepreneurial okay i think a lot of people who are there in our uh, today's spot i mean like in particular i could see that you know they are absolutely like you know i mean um thinking in the right direction to spend you know 30 minutes with us and see how what low code no code has in store for them which is they they there lies an opportunity because this is clearly going to be one of the uh right use cases for the large enterprises to pick it up have it in their organization as one of the you know like the way like you know today when we go and talk to customers uh you know when when we when we say what's there for your sales and marketing and they will say hey you know what you have a sales cloud and you have a marketing cloud what do you have for your maybe you know something like um uh you know uh, for the services customer service they would say oh we have a service cloud right so it will it will become a standardized thing they will they will be like you know players who would be like you know who tick in the box yeah and this is what we have for the low code no code tool set and as gotna mentioned companies will have for minimum four tools with them and i i believe like you know gotna is to be believed and i see no reason why they cannot be believed because every tool set comes with their own niche right Absolutely. and over a period of time i would say there will be a lot of consolidation that will happen but i think this is this is a great position for like you know for somebody like us it's a very clear thing we are here to make the partners win we believe every dollar we have to make we believe we'll go a similar journey like in sfdc we will see a 4 dollar opportunity on the table for the ecosystem to come in be it solution consultants be it resellers be it si partners i mean like you know you you cover the whole landscape and i think it will have all those kind of uh, you know things be available because this is anybody who has like you know just started working uh, with us or maybe any of the low code no code tools would surely see this is going to be highly consultative in nature at some point in time however it still speeds the customer up it still gets them uh, achieve what they wanted to achieve from like you know from 10 weeks to a one week sort of a you know realization in terms of time saving in terms of cost savings and so so forth right so yeah why don't you uh, like you know i mean like you know it would be great if you can 
come and if you have a slide on like you know what is the shared vision that we carry for from a partner system ecosystem perspective okay let me just jump to that slide uh, so as jiren mentioned right for drona success is going to be driven through our partners and uh, you know one of the things that we have identified as a vision is that we want is to build a robust powerful ecosystem for drona partners who can then drive innovation for their clients and we are completely committed towards that because we understand the power of our tool but like i mentioned before it's going to be driven by amazing people who are our partners and our commitment to them is that we want to enable our partners with the best in class technology there is a team in drona that is constantly working on making the product a lot more powerful adding features we already uh, if if you uh, you know and we'll have these sessions later on if you are to see the tool and compare it with some of the other tools uh, uh, it, there are a lot of other features which are already present and more are getting added uh, so we want to enable our partners with the best in class technology and the right environment to scale them higher and by right environment we mean that uh, it's it's you know we want to see the partners grow we want to see them uh uh take it to the next level uh they I, I, you know it's it's a no brainer they are critical to the drone hq growth journey over the next years it's not just about building on the capability of the existing ecosystem right uh, but also building capacity and bench strength of the ecosystem we need in the couple of years partners will drive our future enabling them with the right set of tools a collaborative environment access to the best classes in technology will certainly enhance the innovation and the output and this is the opportunity for us to create that ecosystem there are some amazing stories already we have young partners uh, and these are these are you know uh, uh, single one person team members who have started on this journey and uh, it was it was heartening to receive a call just before this partner cast where this this uh, gentleman was asking us that he is looking to hire a few more people but he doesn't know how to get the right set of people i said that's a good problem to have so for us it's extremely heartening to see a partner grow their business because uh, we understand where our success lies how we need to grow in the future so yes so uh, you know since jinain was talking about the vision and commitment uh, i thought it's the right time to talk about uh, how uh, deeply associated we are with this entire movement and how we want to strive for our partners anish would you like to say what is exactly the thing that you are going to yeah i was just asking you do you do you do you would like to uh, say what there in the road map for the partners what is it that they can look for i mean you do you i mean like you know from a from a uh, sales enablement to training to hiring etc if there is anything that you could share that is something like you know uh, i think a lot of people over here would be interested what exactly are we i mean like you know that that's the start of the due run and it's, i'm sure people would be excited to know about it Oh yeah, and uh, you know I had that in store. Uh, I wanted to talk about it. So uh, as Jinain mentioned, uh, right? Uh, for for us, it's not only about getting the partner on board because that is where our journey actually starts with the partner. Uh, some of the things that we end up doing with uh, for any new onboarded uh, partner is create a detailed four-week-long journey where we walk them through uh, what are some of the criteria for their success, and that's the first session. Where we where we tell them about what will be critical for them to create their mark in the world outside. So it's helping them with marketing campaigns, creating a structure, uh, getting some of the tangible, some of the operational aspects in place. Week two and three is all about training, where we have our teams walking our partners through different training programs to get them used to the platform. Uh, and week four is when it gets real. It's more about speaking to the teams within our partner. uh partners organization identifying the people who will be in constant touch with us creating uh uh articles which are co-authored between them so that we can send it to the right uh, avenues and get more visibility for the partner this is the foundation on top of this there are there are avenues created for partners so we as an organization keep getting a lot and lot of leads on a daily basis and uh, as a mandate we have decided to get these fulfilled through our partner network so let's say if you're a partner in south america you're a partner in southeast asia somewhere and there are leads coming in uh, maybe it's bases the region or it is bases your expertise that you've identified these leads get forwarded to you uh, there is a tracking which is done on the leads any kind of assistance that is required is also passed on so there's a lot of things in the offing 
apart from this the, the the hygiene factors are always in place right any updates which are coming in uh, any new launches which are there any webinars of these nature this nature which is which is launched is also uh, shared with the partner so a lot of things happening in the partner ecosystem maybe moving forward we will start certifications for our partners where they can get trained and they can get qualified as uh, certified drone ihq practitioners so that's also in the offing but yes uh, uh, th this is just just a glimpse of uh, what we have on offer for our partner network. So what is it that our platform helps uh, you know companies achieve, right? Uh, we we want to make our partner this market ready to take on the big bad world outside and transform it. So we create an environment for the user enabling faster time to market, innovation on the go. The platform is truly scalable, easy to deploy, drives automation. You can integrate it with any database out there, provide for an enterprise grade secure. All this doesn't mean anything uh, without that one critical element, which is superior performance. And uh, with Drona HQ, as in, why is he saying that this is something that uh, uh, you know is needed for our partners to create solutions for their clients? Is because uh, you can you can you know the app development speed is uh, uh, is ten times uh, the normal speed. Uh, also, for, in terms of the cost, it is just at a one third cost. So anyone uh, you know currently, you you the arbitrage that existed between a big player and a big team and uh, uh, let's say a, a somebody who has a smaller team or just as an individual partner uh, has reduced because of this because you are capable of doing work of multiple people because of the nature of low code tool and that's what we are enabling uh, i would like to talk about my personal story over here right how i came to be associated with drone ihq I uh, was consulting an organization and uh, uh, the pre-work, which was the first part of the study, um, I submitted it to the client and uh, one of the findings in the study was uh, where we told the client that, hey, you know what, you have great processes, but you need to take them online. And, uh, and we were able to back it with data, with findings, etc. The client was happy, but then turned around and told us that, uh, listen, you know what, you suggested this, now you take it online. And that's when the you know the, the ball drop. Uh, I personally don't. Uh, I I love my tech, but uh, am I the best person from a tech standpoint? Not really. And that's when I started exploring platforms. I was lucky to come across Drona HQ, and as they say, uh, the rest is history. We were able to create a, a bespoke solution uh, in record time, go live with it, uh, make sure that the client was satisfied with it, and now we are looking at a larger deployment. So for me to see something from ideation, conceptualization to go live in just a matter of 10 days was a great enough testimony to the power of the platform. And this is coming from someone from a non-tech background. So you can so, just imagine how... Anish, maybe like, you know, uh, Anish, I have a few questions here. Why, uh, like, you know, why, why you are actually doing it, right? Uh, what kind of a deploy, I mean, like, you know, what kind of uh, deployment was it? What area of... Uh, like you know, do you want to share a little bit about the use case about like you know? Oh, yeah, exactly I would love to. I, I I love talking yeah. about this. So it was it was actually for a large uh, visa processing client, uh, a global client, and uh, uh, in in the space of HR, there is something that is uh, 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 something called a development center where you actually evaluate your employees to find out what their developmental needs are, and in case there is a high potential employee amongst them. Uh, you can fast track their development journey or fast track their growth within the organization. This organization, uh, the LND team, the learning and development team was based in Mumbai and they were managing the entire mandate from Mumbai for their regions in uh, uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, South Asia uh, and uh, Australia. And uh, what that meant is uh, that they had someone from the LND team in India traveling to all these locations whenever they were conducting any of these sessions. And uh, uh, what we realized through that pre work was that uh, you know this this is getting this is this is spending inordinate amount of time for uh, something of this nature, and the essence was getting lost. And that's when we we the the pilot that I spoke about we created this platform it was it was uh, hosted on drona hq 
uh, and uh, it was utilized, it was consumed by about 75 practitioners, 75 users from the client side uh, based out of uh, six cities uh, and uh, 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 six countries and 30 cities. And uh, all this in a matter of two weeks when normally uh, their normal uh, deployment of something of this nature would have taken them a few months. Uh, so to you know plan the visas, get people to a centralized location, the spends that you would expend on booking a banquet hall, booking a, 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 you know accommodation and uh, travel for everyone. So savings in cost, savings in time, savings in uh, uh, the notional savings uh, uh, of getting your team to focus on what was really critical was immense. And now uh, the, the client wants to make this a part of their standard procedure. So that's the power of the tool that I'm talking about. But so, yes, that, uh, Anish, that was an like interesting you know, journey. Uh, I mean, sure. So Anish, I, like, you know, a quick follow up to that, right? So. If you had to, like, you know, there are a bunch of, uh, like, you know, there are a lot of people here who are listening to you right now. If there's one thing, uh, you know, uh, I mean, like, you know, why does, why did low code, no code ring a bell? Why you, I mean, like, you know, why, why go on that route? Customers or probably even right now, like, in a lot of people in the room will have a lot of other technology avenues available, right? Why would you do that? I mean, given that you had a background yourself about technology, Anish, and you know, yeah. you didn't even know a lot about Rona HQ when you started. So how how quickly were you onboarded? What what really got you there? Maybe you can like you know. Interesting question. So uh, yes, I, I I didn't know much about the technology at that point in time. Uh, from a client standpoint, I think so. Primary uh, requirements for him was uh, uh, our main stakeholder in the organization was speed, uh, was something that we could create, we could iterate on the go. Uh, it was something that could be consumed easily. Uh, it was something that could be hosted within, uh, and you know, you can understand being a visa processing organization, they were very high on confidentiality, security, GDPR, all those norms. and. Uh, uh, so that was that was another important criteria. Uh, it had to be something which was simple so that people within the organization could also use once we moved out of the scene. Uh, it was, as I mentioned, uh, something that could uh, uh, be uh, edited uh, or, uh, uh, you know, iterate, iterations uh, were possible. So these were the few uh, parameters that were set for us to create any kind of uh solution uh, which which meant that uh, you know the uh, the workarounds that we were thinking of using some of the existing off the shelf products etc didn't work so we had to create something that was bespoke we had to create something that could meet the security criteria we had to create something that was easy for their internal hr team to use and you know when you're working with uh, teams which are non it uh, there is it's very difficult to understand what is their level of uh, inclination towards technology going to be so you go with the assumption that it has to be something which is very simple and you know that this made it simple for us to design or uh, select uh, a no code low code platform to create that because it gave us the freedom to create what we wanted while it took care of the hygiene factors that the organization was looking for Okay, okay, interesting. So Anish, uh, uh, I thanks for sharing your insights, right? I think uh, I think you yourself were a big testimony for a lot of people, uh, like you know why uh, you, I mean like you know why low code, no code. So in principle, I think you know you you fit into a category of uh, partners who are kind of they do not really come with a lot of technical understanding, but they have a business case in mind. I mean like you know imagine yourself to be a consultant coming from a consulting background, right? And you know what a customer problem is. And there is a tool set for you to like, you know, kind of uh, apply and kind of like to create a solution for the customer. So that's, that's clearly like, you know, one, one kind of like, you know, use case. But ever since you have picked up the mantle of like, you know, running the partner program for us, would you, would you like to like, you know, tell what are the other right kind of partners, like, you know, that could kind of work, right? Be it an OEM partner or be it like, you know, why don't you like, you know, share a little bit of insights on that as well? 
course. So yeah, uh, you know, we we try to be associated with people across the community, right? Be it solution experts, system integrators, and uh, and system integrators could be the big, the heavy guys, also the 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 smaller players out there, big software development houses. Any organization which wants to drive a seamless, powerful workflow automations uh, shouldn't think twice before leveraging a platform uh, which is in the low code, low code space. Uh, a partner ecosystem today has people who are one member companies like I spoke about some of the largest players in the industry. Uh, it, the, the interesting thing and this is what I keep telling people right the platform can manage for simplicity and complexity. So it gives you the freedom to dial down or dial up. So let's say you want to create a simple solution. Boom, it's possible. Let's say you want to get into the nitty gritties and you have hit the ceiling in terms of low code, low code and you want to uh, start coding on your own. That's also possible. So it, it's for everyone. This creates a unique proposition for any partner to pitch this to their client, right? Not being weighed down by the rigidity or the constraints of any other system that they would be working on. Um, uh, our partners, be it a service provider or a system integrator, have a critical role to play in meeting the evolving uh, needs of a growing base of customers that they deal with. Um, and especially now, uh, you know, the requirements uh, are coming uh, 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 with our partners are come, uh, which their clients are reaching out to them with are very unique, very different, and they take into account the new world that is emerging post pandemic. Uh, so we heard a use case today of uh, a partner wanting uh, uh, something that could be done offline because uh, the client that they were dealing with uh, was working in the agricultural space and they wanted people to go to the fields and capture data but because of net connectivity they weren't sure whether the data would get captured on a real time basis. So offline submissions come into play. At the same time we are uh, uh, you know there's an interesting use case of uh, a distributor wanting to leverage the PDF creators so that instead of printing and sending pamphlets to uh, all his uh, distributors and channel partners all over the country, uh, he can uh, configure a PDF uh, with his design, have a space over there for him to uh, customize it for his distributors and click with just one click of a button or WhatsApp is being sent which uh, the distributors can send to their customers. So these use cases, uh, be, I don't know whether it's it's predominantly because of the pandemic, but yes, it had a big role to play in it. But uh, it's just amazing to see these kind of use cases come up. And uh, you know, they need to, which also brings me to the point that our partners need to be in sync uh, in being able to deliver the technology to the expanded size of the customers. Right? And uh, this is where the whole partner training updates come into play. Uh, what is it new that uh, this space is offering? What is the new updates that Drona has created? And that becomes a very integral part. So how do you uh, so, keep them uh, lockstep with us in this journey? Right, Anish. Anish, uh, maybe like, you know, uh, you, we being a little time conscious, uh, would you like to share like you know what's going to come up in our partner program? What are we going to do uh, like you know in the next uh, maybe uh, you know 30 days, 60 days, 90 days kind of a cycle? Maybe you don't really need to give us a broken down stuff, but you know what what exactly can can you know if uh, if somebody signs up with us as a partner, what what can they expect? What are the new things that we are coming up with in, in terms of the you know very specifically for the partners? So uh, for the partners, apart from the standard approach that we have, which is a very detailed onboarding, which I spoke about, right? Uh, training them on the platform and showcasing new updates, the technology which is in place. Uh, uh, there is a there is a very interesting, uh, like I said, we understand that your customers, the, the clients that our partners are dealing with, could come up with very unique uh, use cases, and we don't want to lock down our uh, partners with uh, a, a price plan that is not workable. So we've come up with uh, a usage based price plan, which is uh, which is just been launched about a week. Back. Uh, so that's something that's uh, happened. We are going to continue with these sessions where we are going to get new partners on board uh, to talk about their experiences and how uh, you know leveraging a platform like the Rona HQ has helped them grow. Uh, that's something in the uh, offering. We will have use cases from the industry 
where uh, uh, and these sessions will again be hosted by us where we will talk about uh, some of the big things that organizations have done by uh, coding small and by no coding. But these are the three broad areas that I see coming up uh, immediately sure. in the near future. But apart from that, uh, yeah, Jimmy, sure. go on. Sure. That and then uh, Anish, maybe you might also want to just uh, see very clearly in terms of like, you know, what are absolutely like, you know, the sweet areas, or uh, I would say, you know, sweet parts for Dona HQ to work on and what kind of use cases would, would, would kind of like, you know, appeal. I mean, what kind of, I mean, who should be a right partner to Dona HQ? Do you think you, you have a moment for that? Maybe that would be the last one maybe. Ah, so I think so. So we, uh, you know, as I mentioned, uh, so apart from these nomenclatures which are there, I think so. Uh, any any uh, setup that wants to uh, take their business or take their practice to the next level uh, uh, needs to be associated with the no code platform. And I'm being an evangelist over here by saying they need to be associated with the no code platform. Uh, uh, you need to identify a platform where uh, the the organization is as concerned about your development as you are, and uh, you know that that's the focus that we will have for our partners. Uh, you might be a big organization which has already made it. Uh, you you might be clocking in seven figures, eight figures, etc. You might be just who, someone who's starting off. Uh, you might be a small team of ten people. Uh, working out of uh, one city. Uh, I think so this platform is for everyone. Like I mentioned, right, the platform uh, offers uh, uh, for simplicity and complexity. So depending on, you know, what part, what end of the spectrum you want to be at. Uh, and uh, we will allow for you to move across the spectrum uh, with our trainings, our updates. So yes, uh, just to answer your question, Janine, that that's really what we're looking at. Perfect, great. All right. So, on, on a closing yeah, note, and what what yeah, to look for in the upcoming to... <laughs> new part, uh, part of that? <laughs> yeah. So we have, uh, you know, I didn't want to talk about the partner plans or anything right now. I just wanted to speak about wanted to speak about what is it that we have envisioned for our partners. Where do we want to take this over the next uh, uh, few months, uh, and uh, what's in store for our partners? Uh, in the next session, we will get one of our partners to come and talk about their experience. We will also talk about the different plans that we have and what actually entails uh, in each of those plans. That's something that will keep happening. So this is this is a month on month feature and we will keep doing something interesting. We will uh, ensure that we uh, keep our partners uh, uh, excited about these series. So great. So that, that's it from us, guys. Uh, Jinan, any parting words from you? No, I think uh, this was, uh, I mean, like, you covered it all, right? Uh, uh, I, I think uh, what, what what's going to be exciting is, like, you know, we are coming out with a lot of new stuff, uh, like, you know, in, in the upcoming releases. Like, you know, I am sure, like, you know, if you've been associated with Rona HQ, maybe by merely signing up on the platform, you would see, uh, every couple of weeks, we have some major stuff uh, coming along. Right now, I think one of the major things which is going to come along is like, you know, probably a week or max a week away. And that's going to be extremely exciting. I'm not going to like, you know, be, be talking up, uh, about it right now. But the idea is if you can watch this space in a week's time, I think that's going to be something exciting. Right. So that's about it. And I'm sure like, yeah. you know, uh, that's going to be released uh, for the, I mean, like, you know, overall, but However, like, you know, there will be a separate uh, special note which will go for the partners. I'm sure that's going to be like, you know, something that partners would kind of love on on the things which is coming up next. Right. So that's about it for my end. Super, Jinan, and uh, really yeah. excited about what the future holds for uh, the partner network. Uh, let's uh, let's connect again. And uh, for everyone who's joined on the call, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, stay tuned. We will keep having these sessions uh, month on month and we will share the update for the next session pretty soon. And then you have a great uh, evening or a good start to the day wherever in the world you're calling us from. Uh, see you.
Bye. Thank you. Have a lovely one, guys. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Bye.